this is Chef Inspire. I am here today to talk to you about raising your vibration. And I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is give you seven things that you need to do in order to raise your vibration. Now, what is your vibration? Your vibration is the energy level that you operate on. Let me give you a for instance. There is something called harmonic resonance. Now, harmonic resonance works like this. If you take two pianos and put it in a room and you hit the C note on one piano, what will happen is automatically, without touching the other piano, the C note on the other piano will begin to vibrate. And why is that happening? It's happening because of harmonic resonance. Both of those strings are tuned to the same vibration. And even though you did not hit, you hit only one piano chord, the other one is on the same vibrational level. So it automatically started to vibrate because it is on the same level. You draw things into your life that you are in a vibrational match to. And if you don't get on the match to the things that you want, you will not receive it. You won't be able to draw it into your life. And even if you draw it into your life, you will not be able to keep it because you are not vibrating on the level of that thing. So here are seven things that will raise your vibration. Are you ready for this? Here we go. Number one, removing conflict. Now, what do I mean by removing conflict? When you have conflict in your life, you are lowering your vibration. So what you need to do is remove the conflict. If you say I'm gonna be successful, if you say I'm gonna be healthy, then my life and my words need to line up. I need to be doing what I say. Number two, remove bad food and drink. Did you know that there are certain foods that will make your body operate at a lower vibration? What you need to do is drink stuff and eat stuff that will raise your vibration. Drinking water, eating vegetables that are alive, eating fruits and eating things that make you feel good after you finish eating them. Number three, remove dysfunctional relationships. Now, what is a dysfunctional relationship? A dysfunctional relationship, if I've been with a person for six months and I am on the same level that I was for six months, I have not grown, not even a little bit. We have not grown together. And all we do is argue and have conflict. What's happening is that is a dysfunctional relationship. That relationship is not adding to me. It's not giving me something that's gonna make me feel good. After I'm, as the, the more time I spend with this person drains me, it makes me feel deficient. I am not being nurtured by this relationship. I'm being drained. This is a dysfunctional relationship. So you need to remove those dysfunctional relationships. Just say no. Everybody can't go where you're going. Everybody can't hang around you. You can't carry people up a hill, all right? If these people are not pushing you or behind you, pushing you up the hill, then you need to remove that relationship for that period of time. Not saying that you cannot revisit that situation or later on come back and talk and be a part of that person's life. But while you're going up this hill, while you're moving up level from level to level, going to your purpose, you must remove any baggage that may hinder you, that must stop you, that may keep you from being the best that you could possibly be. So remove dysfunctional relationships. Number four, remove unbelief. Unbelief. If you don't believe it, you cannot receive it. You must be on the same level, vibrational level of the things that you want in your life. So you must think it, feel it, do it. Let me say that again. You must think it, feel it, and do it. And if you do that, faith without works is dead. So you must remove your, your procrastination. You must move the things that stop you from moving forward. So you must remove that unbelief and you remove that unbelief by just doing it. Number five, remove negative people. I know, I know. There's people that are in your life and sometimes it's people that are really, really close to you. People that you really love and people that you really wanna be around. But every time they're around you, they make you feel down. They bring your vibration down. They bring you 
uh, they, they, put, they put doubt and unbelief in your mind. When you tell them about your ideals, they say, nah, man, you can't do that. Those people, you must leave. You must leave, not, not forever. But until you get to where you want to be, you must create a space between you and those people that are dream killers. All you need around you is people who build you up and that speak into your dreams and that get behind you and push you towards the things that you desire in your life. Number six, replace negative habits. Now, negative habits could be smoking, could be drinking too much. It could be illicit sex, going around doing all kinds of things that bring your vibration down. So what did I do to remove that smoking out of my life? I started to replace the habit of smoking with carrying around a bag full of carrot sticks. And every time that I felt like smoking, I would take out the carrot stick. And eventually, I got to the point where I didn't need to go outside with those guys. I didn't need to go outside and act like I'm smoking. I just sat at my desk. And, and every time I got that urge, I used the carrot stick to defeat or to help me to get through my physical habit of smoking. And eventually I didn't even need it anymore. Smoking was eliminated out of my life because I replaced my negative habit with a positive habit. I also got to the point when I was at home and I felt like smoking, what I did was I got down and I did some push-ups. Eventually the push-ups replaced, the push-ups and the carrot sticks replaced my uh, craving to smoke because I, I started to uplift myself. I started to feel better because I'm eating carrot sticks and I'm doing push-ups. That raised my vibration and caused me to become stronger. Number seven, remove unforgiveness. Unforgiveness is like a weight. It weighs you down, all right? It crushes your vibration. So what you need to do is remove unforgiveness in order for you to flourish. In order for you to be the best that you can possibly be, you got to get unforgiveness out. Unforgiveness doesn't doesn't hinder the other person. It hinders you. If you keep that inside of you, what happens is it weighs you down. It's like you're carrying around a 50 pound weight throughout your life. So you cannot possibly reach the heights and the depths that you can do because you are carrying around unforgiveness. Release it. Get it out of your life so that you can rise and you can raise your vibration so that you can get to the things that you desire in your life. Let me go over those seven things again. Number one is to remove conflict. Number two, remove bad food and drink out of your life. Number three, remove dysfunctional relationships. Number four, remove unbelief. Number five, remove negative people. Everybody can't go with you. Number six, replace negative habits with positive habits. Number seven, remove unforgiveness. If you did these things on a regular basis, what will happen is your vibration will rise to the level of the thing that you want and they will become a vibrational match. And when they do, you won't even have to look for those things. The things that you desire will come into your life. They will be drawn to you like a magnet because you are on the same harmonic residence as those things, and those things will automatically start to flow into your life. This is Chef Inspire. I hope you get this, because if so, you can change your vibration. You can have what you want. You can do whatever you desire. It's yours to have, but you must do something. You must do something, and use these seven things to help you to raise your vibration and to draw that thing to you. You get it? You got it? Good. Have a blessed day.